friends. Today we are trying to find the value of W. If W equals 8 plus W. Now at first glance you might think, oh wow, that looks super simple. But let's walk through what really happens. If we try to solve it the usual way, we subtract W from both sides. And suddenly we get W minus W equals 8. Which becomes 0 equals 8. Oh wait, that can't be right. 0 does not equal 8. So immediately this tells us, there is no solution here. No real number works. This equation gives us an empty set. But hold on, let's try another method, just to see the full picture. We start again with W equals 8 plus W. Now as we know, if X equals Y, then X squared equals Y squared. So we take the square on both sides. We get W squared equals 8 plus W squared. Let's expand it. This becomes W squared equals 64 plus 8W plus 8W plus W squared. Now, here comes the interesting part. If we move the W squared on the right side, back to the left side, we subtract it, and we get 0 equals 64 plus 16W plus W squared minus W squared. The two W squared terms cancel. So now we have 0 equals 64 plus 16W which we can also write as 64 plus 16W equals 0. Time to solve. 16W equals negative 64. Divide both sides by 16, and we get W equals negative 4. All right, sound good so far, but watch this twist. Let's substitute negative 4 back into the original equation. W equals 8 plus W. Plug it in. Negative 4 equals 8 plus negative 4 which becomes negative 4 equals 8 minus 4. So we get negative 4 equals 4. Oh no, that's definitely not true. Negative 4 does not equal 4. So what went wrong? Here's the story. When we said, if x equals y, then x squared equals y squared. We forgot the hidden rule. If x squared equals y squared, then absolute value of x equals absolute value of y. So we should take the modulus on both sides. We get absolute value of negative 4 equals absolute value of 8 plus negative 4, which is absolute value of negative 4 equals absolute value of 8 minus 4. So finally, absolute value of negative 4 equals absolute value of 4. And that gives you S. 4 equals 4. And now everything makes sense. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel to get notifications for my new videos. Okay, bye.